Hey everybody, welcome back. I came into DLSS Swapper today and saw a new version of DLSS available, 3.10.3. It took some digging to find out what it was exactly, and I found this, the latest release of the DLSS programming guide. And here we have 3.10.3. .3. Update VRAM usage after op optimizations for the transformer model and deprecate presets A through E. So I'm assuming presets A through E are going to be removed. I think that's what that means. But we do get updates to the VRAM usage, optimizations to the transformer model. Now that could be potentially very important for us. So in order to get the latest version, again, you use DLSS Swapper. And if you don't have DLSS Swapper, I'll put a link in the description to the GitHub page where you get it. There's a new version 1.1.7.1. Come down here, click the installer, run the installer, and install the program. You come here, and it's going to show you which versions of DLSS you have. In my particular case, for Bison 2020, I have 2.4.12, and in 2024, I have 3.10.2.1. So in order to update it, you just click here, then click on DLSS. There's 3.10.3, which is the one that we want. We don't have it downloaded. So in order to download it, you come here to the library and just click on 3.10.3. .3. There's, there's two versions, one that says debug. I'm gonna download them both just to be safe. Come back out here and then select 3.10.3 .3 and click swap. And we should be good. Let's see if there's an update. And there is an update to the frame generation file as well. So we'll come back over here to the library. And then there's DLSS frame generation. Again, I don't know what the difference is between the debug and the just the regular 3.10.3, .3, but I'm going to download them both. There's only one option here in the swap section. So I want to just make sure I'm getting the latest one. Uh, this is a little bit confusing. So in FSR 3.1, I have a version 3.1.4, which is the latest version. There's a version above it in the list, which is 3.1.2, which is obviously an older version. I don't know what the story is there, but I have version 3.1.4, so we're good to go there. The NVIDIA app has been updated as well. And in order to make sure that you're getting the latest preset, preset K, with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Come here into the graphics settings, click on Flight Simulator 2024, come all the way down here to the bottom, and if you have any of the overrides set, I used to have used different settings for each DLSS technology, and then for DLSS Super Resolution, I had it set to latest. Some people might have it set to K. I have found that this does not work if you swap the DLSS version with DLSS Swapper, which you have to do because it's not available yet through NVIDIA itself, through the NVIDIA app. So update the DLSS file through DLSS Swapper, and then come in here to the NVIDIA app and make sure you have DLS override, DLSS override model presets and DLSS override super resolution set to use the 3D application setting. That's gonna allow Flight Simulator 2024 to set for itself what it's going to use. So just make sure it's set up here, use the same settings for all DLSS technologies, and then use the 3D application setting, which is the default. Come into NVIDIA Profile Inspector. I will put a link in the description where you can get this if you don't have it. Come up here to the profiles. Type Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Click on that. Then come down here to five common. You want to set DLSS forced preset letter to preset K using the drop down. Set it to preset K. You do not need DLSS enable DLL override because we've already done that using DLSS Swapper. Now, when you first come in here, this DLSS forced preset letter might be grayed out. If it is, just click on it, 
it will come to life. Come over to the drop down, which will be here, and then select preset K. Once you've done that, come up here to the right hand corner and click apply changes, and then close out of it, and you are all set. So go into the sim. And I have used the registry edit trick in order to get the DLSS and preset information displayed on my screen in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. I don't like posting information about how to do registry edits because if you get a registry edit wrong, you can mess up your PC. This one's quite simple, even though I said I wasn't going to show you how to do it. <laughs> if you just Google DLSS preset reg edit, you'll get the instructions on how to do it. But you just come here to NVIDIA Corporation Global NGX Core. And then if you have the show DLSS, DLSS indicator, just right click it, modify, and make sure the value data is 400. That one, then click OK. That will bring up the display that you're going to see here in a second in the sim just to make sure that you've done everything right and you've got the correct DLSS version and the correct DLSS preset. Once you've confirmed that, you can come back here, right click, modify, set it to zero, click OK, and then it won't display it anymore. So now let's go into the sim and see what we get. Here we are in the sim. We're at Princess Juliana Airport in the Britain Norman Islander. And the reason I'm here, I did a video yesterday where I recorded my performance parameters and, and statistics. You can see over here in the dev mode, GPU memory 5.994. Now I was in this exact location yesterday. I didn't change any settings. The only thing I've changed is updated the DLSS to 310.3. You can see there 5.9.3, everything exactly the same. Now let's take a look at what my VRAM was yesterday before updating to the newest version of DLSS. This is a screen grab from the same location and you can see right here, GPU memory 6.4. So 6.4 to 5.933, that's about half a gig of VRAM. I'll take that. I mean, that's a, that's a significant improvement right there. And now here we are in Miami in the Phoenix A321. We're just going to see what the speed tape looks like here as we depart. And mind you, this is DLSS quality. I'm not sure that those of you who are particularly worried about ghosting are going to be happy with this. That's DLSS quality. Let's take a look at DLSS DLAA, which is what I used to run. So this is the best that DLSS has to offer in terms of ghosting. That looks significantly better, actually. That looks better to me. Than what I'm used to. So for me, for DLSS DLAA, which is what I used to run pretty much all the time, that definitely looks better to me in terms of the ghosting for the PFDs. So, so I'm definitely interested to see how this works once I get a chance to try it out some more. It looks like about a 10% VRAM usage improvement in my initial testing here, which is fantastic. This has been out for about three weeks now, looking at the date here on the revision history, but I really had to do some digging to find any information about this at all. So I'm not surprised that nobody really knows about it. Props again to DLSS Swapper for getting this version out there. If you have any questions or comments, feedback, I'd love to hear it in the comments section below, especially any experience you have when using this updated 3.10.3 version of DLSS. Hope everybody's having a great day and we'll talk soon.